Gansu Kamai Chechek launched her Mongolian clothing brand exclusive with 100 employees seven years ago. But because of an economic free fall from 17% growth in 2012 to a fraction of just 1% this year, she now only has 30 employees. In the past four or five years, the Mongolian economy only focused on the mining industry. This is the reason for the slump, but also because government policies were not fit for reality. With the world's fastest growing economy a few years ago, it was then the envy of other developing nations. But that growth was built on a huge reliance on exports to China. So when the economy slowed there and commodity prices slid, it hit Mongolia. Commodities like copper, coal and gold make up nearly 80% of all exports, including the world's largest underdeveloped reserve of copper at the Oyu Tolgoi mine. So now the country has had to borrow billions of dollars to stay afloat. Last year, its debt was nearly 80% of its GDP. Some feel as though Mongolia's economy is at a crossroads. Stick with the current path or create a new plan, transitioning from a heavy reliance on just a few industries, and that the future rests in the generation born after Mongolia became a fully independent democratic state. The over-reliance on exports, says well-known Mongolian TV commentator, holds the country back. We will not be independent economy. Let's, let's be realistic unless we transfer to knowledge economy, unless we involve all our young people. Remember, half of the country is under 30 years old. The unemployment rate has also been increasing, younger Mongolians making up the biggest chunk of those out of work. Foreign investment has also slowed, but it can't all be blamed on the economy. It's partly because of an unstable political landscape. So it's about uh, sound policy making uh, to attract private sector uh, investments, but also predictability of uh, uh, policy making. And we've seen, for example, in the past in Mongolia with uh, the changes in government, uh, fairly widespread uh, rotations in the civil service. On the heels of an election last month, the former opposition with a landslide victory swept into leadership. Change is afoot. But to attract the needed investment dollars, business owners like Gansuk Machacheg say there needs to be some consistency and predictability to that change. Scott Hather, Al Jazeera, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia.